Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's just have a general, let's just see what wants to come out in your energy, okay? Let's just have a look. Oh, you've got a decision to make in love, it looks like, or a decision's coming in. Right, you're feeling a little bit trapped at the moment in something. You're definitely up in your head. Um, something's causing you anxiety. It could be that there's someone from your past that energetically you're thinking of letting go, okay? But you still feel very trapped. Do you know what I'm really getting today from these, just from these two cards, is that if this is for you today, you know that you are too good for somebody in the past, okay? You know there's a big wide world out there and you know that you want to move forward. There's other things you want to do in your life, but you're nervous. There's something you're nervous about. There's a step you need to take, okay? I feel that your past person had a lot to do with this, that possibly for some of you, you felt trapped in the relationship, not because you didn't love them, but because of, there were some mind games going on here. Okay, your past person could have been someone who, after the initial flurry of excitement or passion, didn't actually stick at what they said they were going to do. Okay, they could have always been looking for something better. But your decision, I think, today is you want to go forward, you want to leave the past behind, but it's making you nervous. You could even have a decision here, for those of you, a decision if you've met somebody else and you're not sure and it's giving you anxiety because of what happened in the past. So I'm going to have a little look, okay? What I'll look at first is your past person and then I'm going to see what's going to come into the present for you and then the future. So... Like I say, I hope you're all okay, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Well, I'll just give these a shuffle. If you would like a reading, just click on the title of the video. It's all in the description box. And also the um, free relationship report. Okay, everyone, let's see. Yeah, this decision, it's almost as if you're done, but you can't quite let the past go. And that's okay. That's okay, because if you were in a situation where your relationship went south, it started to become toxic, someone was playing mind games with you, and mentally they had you very trapped, because they were always in and out, that takes time to get over. You know, some people get over it quicker, some people don't. You know, it's okay not to be okay, but you do have this decision to make. Right, let's look at the past, please. Yeah, the past should have started off brilliantly. You and your past person had an amazing opportunity to make something work. You could have even got engaged to them, okay? You could have had a financial um, windfall or, or some money that allowed you to start. It had all the hallmarks of a very stable and fulfilling relationship, okay? But I think your person was into pillow talk. It didn't, they didn't follow through, not with the two of wands. They get all passionate, they take so much action. Uh, but then they would almost have one foot out of the door. But I think what they were doing here was they were not, you knew they weren't, you knew they weren't being as committed as they were pretending to be, okay? But I think they probably gaslighted you in some fashion here by saying that, that you were imagining it or that it wasn't happening, okay? and you But you felt you couldn't get out of it. Yeah, it ended. I can see that's it, death card in the past, so it ended. Okay, so what was stable and what was grounded did not work out because I don't think your person had the wherefore or the why for to do it. It's almost as if you had everything on paper, it should have worked. But you went from having this stability and the passion to them getting restless. But I don't feel, and this is specific, so you'll know if this is your reading today. I don't feel this person left immediately. I think this dragged on for a number of months with you. I think you knew something was wrong, okay? This got you in your head a lot. 
this made you very nervous, very anxious, but you couldn't see a way out of it because you were in too deep. You could be living, you could have been living with this person and with this first card out, you could have made a financial um, purchase like a property. Okay. You couldn't see a way out. All right. But I also, I do feel that you heard rumors and there was also some gossip about, about your person. Right. Let me see what's coming in in the present for you. <clears throat> Truth. You're going to get clear. Yeah. You're going to get clear on what you need to do. You're going to get clarity. And you know something? Even if you don't ever get closure from whoever this person is, you're going to give yourself closure. You're going to come out of this. If this is your reading today and you're watching this and you're feeling like you're really trapped in your head, you know when your head goes around like a, a tumble dryer and you've got all these thoughts and you're almost paralysed. OK, because I think what's happening here is your mind, you want to go forward, but your mind's protecting you because of what happened in the past. That will end. OK, that will end. You will get clear on what you want to do. OK, you will cut through all of this um, mind noise. So if you only take one thing and this is your read today, Try not to stress too much. You are going to come out of this, okay? I know when you're in the midst of it and your mind's going round and round, especially if you've been gaslit, because people who gaslight you are very clever. You know, very, very clever. How they, <clears throat> the way they word their sentences or, you know, the way they say things to you and then make out that you're absolutely as <clears throat> mad as a box of frogs and that you're imagining it. You're going to get through this. Okay, you are going to get through this. Yeah, I can, oh, it's no, yeah. You, Five of Swords, you've been through hell and back with this person. This person was really not very nice. Okay, somebody was determined to win at all costs. They didn't care. They didn't care, okay. And going back to what I was feeling earlier about it looking good on paper, it's as if they were a house a house devil but a street angel so what they were projecting to other people was but you know wonderful covert this person's covert okay a lot of swords in here today <coughs> so there's a lot of air energy libra gemini aquarius energy here but you felt very trapped in this it's almost like it scarred you but it would do you see and I think you really do want to move forward, but you're scared of trusting again, which is totally understandable. You know, that, that takes time. That does take time. Oh, but it's coming. Queen of Pentacles, that's your energy. Beautiful, beautiful. That's your future card. Okay. You know, from a love point of view, I'm going to read this on a few ways. From a love point of view, that means you're going to meet somebody. Okay, you're going to meet somebody, you're going to settle down, um, you're going to find somebody who makes you feel safe and secure. I'm so happy that card's come out today because if you've been through the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords and, you know, that kind of energy, all that drama, that conflict, the nastiness, other people's agenda, you found out this person of yours had an agenda. It's like... Almost like you, I think in the end you felt they were using you. But they denied it. They absolutely denied it. So to get that card, it means you're going to meet somebody else. You could have met somebody else, okay? If you are at a crossroads about coming out of your comfort zone, again, if you've been through that sort of relationship, it's trauma. You can end up with post-traumatic stress disorder because if you've put up with that energy over a long period of time, it messes with your mind, okay? It can take therapy, talking therapy, people who specialise in narcissistic relationships to actually get you out of, out of the other end, especially if you've been in it a while because I think this person was probably quite covert. I think they were very, very 
good at projecting that on oh, I wonderful I look after my person I do this I do that I do that but behind closed doors you were being very controlled okay very very controlled and also I think they this person had other people on their side they believed your person okay like flying monkeys kind of energy so if you've met somebody new they are going to give you the stability and security that you desire for some of you, it might not seem as exciting as your last relationship. Again, totally normal. If you've been in a narcissistic sort of type of relationship with the in and out and the push and pull, in the end, that kind of relationship can become an addiction because of the dopamine. The brain craves it. Like when they're nasty to you, then <clears throat> say they don't speak to you for three days, just an example, and then you're they, they're nice to you again the brain gets that happy feeling so then it craves it like a cigarette you know these types of relationships are as addictive as smoking drinking or drugs now that is scientifically proven that it, it has effect on your brain neurons that's why people stay in them so long that's why it takes time for people to get over them and to trust again but also then sometimes you can go into a new relationship that's stable and secure, but it feels weird because you're not living on your nerves all the time, okay? Also, if this is your reading today and you're worried about finances or you're worried about moving away for a new job or something, it's going to be brilliant, okay? You're going to be financially okay. Absolutely beautiful card for you. Beautiful, beautiful card. I mean, your your person was just full of pillow talk. They promised you the world. You know, I think it's almost as if they offered you everything on a plate and it was just going to be wonderful. But then you went into the Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords with this person. Drama, conflict, gaslighting, messing with your mind... But you're going to clear this is the truth about this you know the truth okay what i've seen over the years is with this kind of relationship you know the truth but it's messed with your mind so much because of the um the emotional abuse that it takes a while for it all to clear out and for you to really accept the truth because it has changed the way your brain chemistry works. So, you know, don't ever beat yourself up. You know, sometimes people can come out of these relationships and they go back into them numerous occasions until you actually get clear on what's going on. And it's really difficult to get clear on what's going on when you have been given th this love to start with or I'll take care of you. I'll do this for you, I'll do that for you. And then all of a sudden, well not all of a sudden, it can happen suddenly, it can happen slowly, they start to devalue you. And that person is still there physically, you know, in front of you, but they might as well be dead because where are they? They've gone, they're, they're not even the same person anymore. Okay, and then you end up, they suck all your energy and then you end up literally on the floor, flat on your face, wondering what the hell happened with a load of trauma that you didn't have when you started and i'm also getting some of you that you could have already been through some relationships like this maybe not as bad and this person was like the one person you trusted and that you told everything to and that you know you poured your heart out and you told them all of this but then they weaponized your deepest pain against you so if you are nervous about making a decision, if you are anxious still, you will get clear on all of this. But if I just say one thing today, it's normal for it to take time. It's normal for, for you to look back at the past. And, you know, the mind, it's the way the mind works. The mind will go back to the past and it will look at the good times and not always the bad times. So... 
you are going to be just fine. And if you're making a decision about a new relationship, whether to get out of your comfort zone, but also I'm hearing some of you making a decision whether to start going out again or even just putting yourself back out in a social environment, it's going to be fine. I'm going to see what this past person's going to do, though, because their energy is in here like a... Yeah, not nice. Not nice. What are they going to do? Past person. They're still controlling. <clears throat> They've come out the emperor. They're controlling. They're still keeping secrets. And they still believe they were right. Okay? In this reading today, obviously every tarot card is what you channel. In this today, your person is still coming out of somebody my way or the highway. It's really that simple with the emperor. I'm the boss. I'm in charge. I'm in control. What I say goes totally inflexible, especially with the seven of wands in their energy. They like to win. Okay, They will win and the five of swords. They will carry on fighting to the bitter end. And they don't care the carnage that happens. They don't care that they are possibly in the wrong. They will just keep on fighting because they have to win. So I, you're probably feeling this person's energy. You could be in a battle with your person at the moment. Okay, If you are with the Ace of Swords coming out in your energy, you're going to win at whatever battle it is. So if it's legal, custody case, whatever's going down here with this person, because they are very sneaky and very covert, even to the point that they will probably forge paperwork, okay? This is not a nice person. You're going to win. Okay, you're going to come out okay. Queen of Pentacles, if you're in a legal battle, you will get the finances that are owing to you. Is this past person going to make it easy? No. No, but I think you know that. They're very inflexible, very cold. Um, I think when you met them, they came across as very emotional, very loving, very kind and very caring. But I think they were faking that. That was their, you know, they were, they were mirroring your personality because they're not capable of it. So they were taking your empathy, your kindness. They were mirroring that until they'd almost got what they wanted. But they can't keep it up forever. They've now returned. Almost they reverted back to their, their type. So they're still in that energy. Okay. I don't I don't see them I don't see them coming forward because they I don't feel they don't have it in their soul, you see. The trouble is sometimes with people like this and we wonder why, you know, what did we do? What did you do? What blah blah. You didn't do anything. They'll be the same with whoever they're with. Okay. If they're with somebody now, they might be okay for five years, six years, six months. But eventually, their true colours will come out. It always, always, always does. Okay, always does. Um, and they will treat and devalue whoever they've gone to now the same way that they did with you. But you are going to be okay. Okay, you're going to be fine. Don't, don't worry about making a decision. Don't try not to let this person live in your head rent-free too much, okay? Let's just have one more advice card, please. Yeah, hang on to your money, okay? This is definitely something to do with a legal thing. If this past person comes back and please some form of poverty, which I think they're going to do, or they're going to hide money or say they haven't got any money. Okay, what this card is telling me for you to do today is protect your finances. Don't, don't hand your money away too easily. Okay. Yeah, be very guarded with your energy and your time and keep your boundaries strong, but specifically financially. I just heard play somebody at their own game if you have to, okay? Put yourself first, strategize, keep your own counsel, sneak around if you have to, I just heard, because you have to come first now, but protect your boundaries, but specifically your financial boundaries. 
keep those walls high okay keep those walls high because by doing that you're going to come into a period where you have your own independence again financially okay nine of pentacles you're going into that energy you've waited a long time for this you've waited a long time for some justice especially financial justice okay this person you could have left this person out of this situation and they almost left you homeless or they cut your money off okay but you're not that's going to end queen of pentacles nine of pentacles you're going to be okay you're going to find your feet again you are going to be able to find somewhere to live that's yours or you're going to be ha you're going to be able to hang on to it you're going to be free almost i'm hearing independent Okay. Yeah, it's a really strong energy today, really strong reading for someone that I'm channeling. You're going to be independent, all right? Try not to worry. Try to get out of your head and maintain those boundaries, okay? Because you're going to get through this. This person is going to throw loads of shit at you. All right, they're not going to care. They won't care. They'll make it up. They'll bring other people in possibly, or they've done that already. They're flying monkeys who believe this person. Well, you know, they're obviously as not as nice as this past person was, but just keep going, okay, because you're going to come out the other end, All right? You are going to come out the other end. Just have a sneak at your person with this kicker deck before we wrap this up. Whoa. yeah last card out it's the court card this is something to do with um a division of assets or if you were left with nothing karma's coming don't worry karma's coming okay um i think what's going to happen here though at some point possibly with this past person is they are going to offer you something, maybe some form of settlement or a small amount of something, or they're going to offer something, okay, so they can try and get back into your good books. But in the end, okay, I can see an authority here, whether it's a court or some authority, some paperwork that has to be stamped legally. There's something legal here that is going to sort all of this out. Okay. It's going to sort it out for you so oh i hope that's helped someone today keep going just just keep going you're going to be okay all right sending you if this is your reading today i send you a massive massive hug and always remember some people you can't heal some people can go from being the most amazing person to something you don't even recognize and you've done nothing wrong okay always remember that they will do it with whoever they meet in every capacity that they walk the earth okay it is you can't heal these people um <clears throat> you know it's the old adage a horse to water okay you can't make the horse drink if it doesn't want to and unfortunately and i've said it so many times there are some people who will just take and will just use okay and the saddest thing here though is i can see that they've left whoever this is for today with a very high level of stress disorder and anxiety but you will get through this and you will get through it okay love you all bye